All right, I thought this could be an interesting tier list. What I'm doing here is the state of each team. If you're a fan of these teams, how do you feel? Not just this year, because I did like a what's the hype for this year, but really I mean like just now in general. So including, you know, previous couple years and including like the next few years, just how, how much fun are you having watching your team play uh, in, you know, as of right now? So the five categories are euphoria. This It's, it's awesome. This is great. Um, then there's, it's a great time to be a fan. We finally have things are fun. Things are fun sometimes. And then finally, well, hey, bad football is still football. That's the, I remember being a Buccaneers fan during the Josh McCown and Mike Glennon days. It's like, hey, this is not great football, but I'm, you know, it's still something to do on Sunday. So that's the five categories. Let's just get into it. Starting off with the Tennessee Titans, you know, uh, went on a really nice run as of late, but things have kind of fallen off a bit. They've lost a lot of their key players, so I don't think I can put them too high on the list. I think things are fun sometimes, feels right. They still have their moments. The Will Levis stuff was is good, and there's still hope for next year. So that feels that feels fair for me. And then the Dolphins. The Dolphins are interesting because, again, making the playoffs several years, that's fun. Um, the, you know, having Tua and having this high fl- uh, flying offense is a lot of fun, but I think that with the playoff disappointments that they've had as of late, I think it's, it's, it's not quite as, it's not just fully things are fun. I think I'm actually going to also put them in things are fun sometimes just because I, I know for me personally, when I'm rooting for a team that you know is going to make the playoffs, but you also feel like probably isn't going to do a lot more than that. You almost want, it's, it's almost like after a few years, it gets kind of more frustrating than just purely fun. So uh, that, that's kind of where I think uh, things are. We don't have the Jets who, uh, I mean, you could make an argument they could be on the bottom tier just given how things have gone as of late. But there's also a lot of hope for the future and things could be pretty good. So I think I'm going to still go if things are fun sometimes just because like, hey, maybe Aaron Rodgers comes through. So uh, yeah, I, I can't, you know, put every team in this tier. But so far, I think that feels fair we then have the Bengals, who, I don't know, I mean, they're not euphoria, because you have to win a championship to be there, I think, but it's a great time to be a fan. You have Joe Burrow, you have really good pieces, uh, maybe they're not quite as good as they were a couple years ago, but went to a Super Bowl a couple years ago, many people feel it could still be a, a Super Bowl contending team, yeah, what's what's not to like if you're a Bengals fan? We then have the Browns, who, you know, have a lot of injuries and have a quarterback that might not be the most fun to cheer for, but there's, you know, still a lot of players who are a lot of fun to cheer for, especially defensively, so I don't know. I feel like I'd be happy if I'm a Browns fan. Like, it's, it's been a good run. Browns haven't always had success, but, like, things are going well now. Things are fun, I, I think. Um, then the Jaguars, who were kind of in a similar a similar boat to where the Dolphins are in, right? Where I think that when you don't meet expectations or when you have high hopes early on, they were to one seed last year for like an hour, like, and then you just fall off a cliff. That's more annoying than being a team who just makes the playoffs but weren't expected to make the playoffs. It is. So I think because of that, there were expectations of like, we could be a Super Bowl contending team. And now just like going into the year, hey, maybe we'll make the playoffs again. I think it's kind of disappointing. I'm going to go things are fun sometimes with them. Then we have the Lions who, you know, part of me is almost thinking about putting them into euphoria tier just because of how like uh, much of a jump it was. So you know what? I'm going to do it. Even though I said you have to have a ring to be in that tier, I'm going to break my own rule uh, like eight teams into this and put the Lions. If you're a Lions fan, this you you know you could be like a 50 year old Lions fan who has never seen your team like you know go on a run like they went on last year. A lot of people are saying they could win the Super Bowl like, and and you're still a young team. I don't think that this is their last year. Although this might be their you know, the year where the window is the most wide open. Uh, yeah, how is that not euphoria? I think. Then we have the Vikings who are another team that I would probably put in the things are fun sometimes to hear. Did not expect to put like every team in this list. I'm sure I will change that at some point. But uh, yeah, again, this feels like the correct tier, right? Uh, They've made the playoffs sometimes in recent years, but haven't had a deep run necessarily. But with the young quarterback, young quarterbacks are always uh, just interesting. It it makes, as a fan base, makes things a lot more fascinating. Again, I think about my, you know, how I feel as a Buccaneers fan. Um, You know, uh, I think that, it's it, usually it's a lot more exciting even with the Jameis Winston even if he didn't work out it's more exciting with that than with uh Josh McCown I'm sure uh the Vikings fans are excited to see what JJ McCarthy is going to do so uh yeah still not super interesting because they haven't gone on a deep run 
I don't, don't know if they'll be, you know, they didn't make the playoffs last year, but things are fun sometimes. Then we have the Buccaneers who, you know, maybe this is going to seem like a hot take. I'm going to go all the way up to it's a great time to be a fan. I mean, again, I can kind of talk about the Lions. I was a Buccaneers fan who hadn't seen my team go to the playoffs, really. I mean, they the last time they had made it was in uh, 2000, I believe it was 2007 was the last time they had, yeah, 2007 was the last time they had made it. Uh, and I didn't really get into football until, until 2008. So I watched for a while, seeing them really struggle. But finally, they were able to win a Super Bowl in 2020. I had a couple other really good years. Last year was a super fun year, four straight playoff berths. Like, I'm having a great time. So I'm going to say it's a great time to be a fan. We then have the 49ers, who, again, haven't won that Super Bowl. And it can't be the top tier without that Super Bowl. They've done so much, had so much deep runs. It's probably been a, it's been a great time to be a 49ers fan. But I'm sure they would love to win the, win the big one. So then we have the Atlanta Falcons, who... Honestly, you could even make an argument for like have been in the bottom tier. If Arthur Smith was still here for another year, bottom tier. But you added Kirk Cousins. You you know had a really good defense last year. There you added Michael Penix as well, so that's interesting. I, I think I, I don't know. I, I'm going to put him in here because uh, things are fun sometimes as well. Just because I think that there could be a uh, you know there could be another uh, there's there's hope there at the very least. So that's why I have them there. We then have the Baltimore Ravens, who are another team that I would say are in the, I think they're in, it's a great time to be a fan. Again, kind of similar to Miami, part of why I was thinking about docking them a spot is just like, do you consider the fact that it's like, no matter how good of a year, they've been to one seed twice now in recent history and failed to win a Super Bowl both times. So that's disappointing. It just is. And that you could argue that docks them a spot. And in fact, you know what? Now that I'm talking through it. I'm going to dock them a spot. The Lamar Jackson stuff's awesome. Seeing him win MVP multiple times is awesome. You know, defenses have been awesome. But like, it is it is disappointing when you are consistently good but can't quite win the big ones. So I'm going to put them in things that are fun. I think that's fair. And then the Bears, again, largely due to just hype of going forward, I'm going to put them in things that are fun as well, even though there's some, you know, uh, I still think there's some flaws on this roster and everything, and they have not been that fun. Things have not been that fun as of late. Past year or so, getting all these draft picks, seeing the Panthers be the worst team in football, getting a potential generational level prospect, adding these wide receivers. I think that moving forward, looking forward, it feels like this is not the worst franchise to be a fan of as of right now. And then we have the Dallas Cowboys, where it's interesting. I, I, I again, similar to Miami, I think I think they have to be in things that are fun sometimes, and and they're really the you know, the real team to talk about, not Miami in this aspect of constantly making the playoffs. But it's like, as a Cowboys fan, at a certain point, when you see another good regular season, you're probably just like, okay, let's, let's see if this is any different though. Like again, regular seasons that are successful are still fun to watch. But if you know that it, you know, playoffs are coming and it might not end well, it becomes less fun. It does. So yeah, I think that's where I would have them. Then we have the Texans, who, again, I don't think are quite in euphoria just yet, have won one playoff game as in recent history, but could get there. As of right now, though, it's a great time to be a fan. You have a rookie quarterback who got MVP votes as a rookie, like, you know, good a head coach that should be, you know, good for a long time. Yeah, seems like a you know, good offensive coordinator. Seems like a great time to be a Texans fan. All right, next up on the list is the Indianapolis Colts, who... I think I'm willing to put them in things that are fun, uh, right? Is that too hot of a take? Should they be maybe one tier lower? I just feel like, again, you have the exciting young quarterback. You nearly made the playoffs last year. You have an interesting head coach. I feel like I'd be having pretty, you know, I'd be having fun if I was a Colts fan for sure. So, yeah, that feels fair. And then the Rams, who... I think similar to Tampa Bay, it's like not every year as of late has been perfect. Obviously, two years ago, they missed the playoffs, but I still think it's kind of a great time to be a fan. You still kind of have that, you know, hype of having won a Super Bowl pretty recently, and you still get Matt Stafford having, excuse me, Matthew Stafford having some good years, like, uh, you know, making the playoffs last year, having a good season, Puka Nakua coming out of nowhere to be really good, Kobe Turner coming out of nowhere to be really good. Like, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a really good time to be a Rams fan as of right now. Then the Chargers, who are the first bottom tier, well, hey, bad football is still football, do have to say, 
there's reason for hope for them as well. You have Jim Harbaugh, you have Herbert, but it kind of feels like that's just to claw them out of the deep hole that they've gotten themselves into. But, you know, I could, could be wrong. I feel like it's probably not the most fun being a Chargers fan right now, but uh, there's still things, you know, like with every team, there's still things to be excited about. So, yeah, that's where I have them. Then the Raiders, who are, again, kind of caught in no man's land. You know, they're a team that one of those teams that feels like they're a quarterback away, but being a quarterback away still feels kind of far away. So things are fun sometimes, feels fair for me. A team that, again, has their moments for sure, but maybe hasn't had the, the high highs that some other teams have had. Um, then we have the Washington football team, also known as the Washington Commanders, who... Uh, you know, uh, again, uh, you have Jaden Daniels, who that's that's where the optimism is coming from. So kind of similar to the Bears. It's like, okay, recently it hasn't gone well, but you at least have like this prospect who could be really good. Like, you know, you do have other pieces. Um, so I, I guess I can't quite put them in the bottom tier as well. I think another things are fun sometimes team. I guess, you know, that's a big tier. Maybe I should have found a way to differentiate it. I don't know. But yeah, that's where I have them. The Chiefs. Um, yeah, this is obvious. This is the, you know, if you're a Chiefs fan, you're having a great time. <laughs> One back-to-back Super Bowls and, you know, many people feel could win a third. Like, no doubt about it. This is a great time if you're a Chiefs fan. Then we have the Saints, who, if I'm a Saints fan, I'm not having a great time. Like, sure, there's hope about playoffs, but... There seems to be, you know, for teams that have a chance to win a Super Bowl, it doesn't seem like their odds are particularly high just due to like what's their ceiling. Um, there's things to like about this team, but I, I just think that they're, I, I'm kind of a bottom tier team. There's worse teams for sure, but like, again, the worst teams tend to have like, oh, Washington has a young quarterback who could be awesome. Like the Saints don't really have that either, so that's why I'm putting them there. If I was a fan of the Saints, I wouldn't be. This wouldn't be the most fun era of them, in my opinion. Um, and the Giants are kind of the same thing. Like again, there's there's things to like uh, about them. I still think Brian Dable is an interesting head coach. I still think that like you know, uh, you you have Malik Neighbors who could be awesome, but I don't know. Not not a great situation. Then we have the Eagles who, again, last year would probably be in like the it's a great time to be a fan tier, but. The defense fell off a cliff. Nick Sirianni, I don't know what to make of him. I thought it was great uh, heading in, you know, last offseason, and then he had a horrible year this year. So I don't know what's going on there. Jalen Hurts looked like he, you know, was he was, I mean, he was an MVP candidate two years ago. Last year kind of looked mediocre. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going I'm in between things are fun and things are fun sometimes. I think I kind of, due to their collapse, have to put them in just things are fun sometimes. Like, similar to Jacksonville, except just on a larger scale. That's where I'm putting them. So yeah, then we have the Steelers who Steelers fans seemingly are having a great time. I feel like Steelers fans are a very passionate fan base. Uh, They consistently make the playoffs. That's fun. I think similar to the New Orleans Saints, they, they don't consistently have these like high hopes of Super Bowl. I think there's a little bit more hope now that maybe Wilson or Fields could take the take a next step or you know, play better, but uh, I think things are fun sometimes feels like the correct tier for them as well. Denver, again, interested in seeing what Bo Nix can do. They have so much dead cap. Uh, well, hey, bad football is still football. That That's that's where I'm, inter- I'm putting them. But like I said, all four of these bottom teams have things to still like about them for sure. Um, the Green Bay Packers are a team with Jordan Love. They're, they, you know, went up, they won a playoff game. There's a lot of good young players, a good young head coach. It's a great time to be a Packers fan. It is. The Packers are doing pretty good. Panthers are definitely the bottom tier. That's just without a doubt. Like, yeah, I mean, this is, it's, it's, it's tough. It's just tough for the Panthers who have really kind of struggled. Uh, I mean, the worst team in football last year and didn't even get their first overall pick. We all know it. it it's tough. We'll see if Bryce Young can turn it around, but as of right now, it's not, vibes can't be great if you're a Panthers fan. Cardinals are, you know, I think probably pretty similar. I think that, well, I don't know. There's hype around, I'll put them in things are fun sometimes, just because like, hey, Kyler Murray, Marvin Harrison Jr., that's fun. Uh, I'm sorry, a team with Kyler Murray can't be a bottom tier in terms of fun. Like, they're a fun team, at the very least, just because of him and Marvin Harrison Jr., although I still think they're going to be maybe not that great next year. At least it'll be... Uh, it's probably the bottom tier now that I think about it because they kind of feel like, hey, we're not a great team, but we'll probably have some fun just because it's football. Uh, they're an ex- a fun, bad team, but I still think they're a bad team. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of in between those two tiers, but that's that's where I'll keep them now. Then we have the Bills who like 
still, I feel like it's not out of the question they could win a Super Bowl next year. I think they would need a couple guys to step up if they're going to do it, especially a couple young guys. But, like, Josh Allen is still one of the best quarterbacks in football. But given these playoff losses and given even regular season losses, it feels like they don't often, like, play as well as we expect them to. So... I think things are fun. I think that feels fair. There's often a lot of really fun games if you're a Bills fan, but a lot of disappointing ones as well. So because of that, that's where I have them. Then the Seattle Seahawks, who, again, feel like a things are fun sometimes team, a team that, you know, uh, made the playoffs two years ago and actually played pretty well against the 49ers. Last year had a pretty similar season, weren't quite able to get it done, um, get into the playoffs that year. Kind of, a, you know, uh, there's exciting parts of this roster to have a new head coach. So there, there's things to like, but are kind of caught in no man's land a little bit. But at least with the new head coach, I feel like there's a little bit more hype than like a team like the Saints. So that's why I have them a tier above. And then the Patriots, who, again, Drake May is a lot of fun, a very exciting prospect. I still feel like there's enough holes in this roster, kind of similar to with the Denver Broncos. Like, they're not going to be good anytime soon, I don't think. It's, hey, bad football is still football, still fun, but not the, not, not, vibes aren't super high, I would assume. So, yeah, that is my tier list. I did not expect to have two teams in Euphoria, to be honest. I really thought, you know, when I picked that one, like, the Chiefs were going to be the only team there, but then I had to put the Lions in there as well. We didn't have the you know teams that are a great time to be a fan, usually teams that have at least gone on a deep playoff run or have an exciting quarterback or both uh, t- seems to be the, you know, uh, how, how it feels there. But like I said, you know, pretty much every team is at least in the things that are fun sometimes. And even the teams that aren't, there's still things to like. There's always interesting things. All 32 teams have unique storylines, but th- that's my tier list. And let me know. Again, if you're a fan of one of these teams and you feel like, hey, you put them in the bottom tier, but I'm super excited. I think things are, I think we're having a great time being an Arizona Cardinals fan. Okay, well, then I'm wrong. But, you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, it's all just my my predictions on this stuff. And it's more of a fun exercise for the offseason than anything else. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.